it's actually kind of difficult to explain all of the different things that a genetic counselor does. But basically, a genetic counselor is someone who explains and interprets any genetic testing results you may have. Oftentimes they begin by completing a really detailed family history with you, and then once they get those test results back, they can provide options for how to follow up with those results, as well as help you understand and process what those results may mean. One thing that I think is really helpful in understanding what a genetic counselor is, is to understand who would go and see a genetic counselor. So one example that I like to use is, say you just found out that you have breast cancer. You wanna know if your children or your sister might also have breast cancer because it might be genetic. You could go and get genetic testing done and then meet with a genetic counselor who can interpret those results and provide preventative care options for the sister or the kids if they are genetically predisposed. Another person that might come and see a genetic counselor is someone who's over the age of 35 and just found out that they're pregnant. Their doctor is likely to recommend that they get genetic testing done because they're considered a high-risk pregnancy. Once those results come back, the mom can meet with a genetic counselor who can go over those results. And if the baby does have a genetic condition, say Down syndrome, the genetic counselor can provide options for support groups or additional professionals that can help in the pregnancy and the childhood of the baby. Overall, genetic counselors do a lot of different things to help people with their quality of care. They can help get preventative care, like in the breast cancer example, provide resources and options, like in the Down syndrome example, and overall just help make more informed decisions because you have more information to work off of. Honestly, I love learning, not just about genetics, but in a general sense. And because of that, I spend a lot of my free time learning about different things. One thing that I find incredibly fascinating is true crime. And because of that, I spend a lot of time listening to true crime podcasts like Crime Junkie or watching documentaries like Dateline in 2020. I grew up watching a lot of shows like that with my parents, which made me love forensics at a young age. But as I've continued to grow up, I like to see how DNA is used in the real world and how that connects to my future career. When I'm not reading up on serial killers or listening to true crime, I enjoy experiencing different locations and trying new things. So in the summer here in North Dakota, I like to go to my lake cabin and go swimming and water skiing and wakeboarding. But in the winter when it's freezing cold here, I can't do those things. So I like to focus on travel. I like to plan future vacation destinations and see what different experiences I can do while I'm there when I go someday.